to Hello T, but isn't quite that. This uh, screencast, uh, I will teach you how to start programming on a Mac. Um, but the first thing you should learn in programming is how to write to files. Because you will write a lot of source code, and to be able to do that quickly, and to then uh, run these files you created, uh, you need to know a good editor. Uh, the Macintosh comes with uh, many editors, but the one I will use and show you how to use is Vim. And I will start first saying that Vim can be run in any operating system, or almost at least, uh, but it comes with usually all Linux systems and BSD and Unix and whatever, um, but you will need to install it on a Windows machine. Even though this uh, tutorial or instruction will be targeted at people that own a Macintosh, I hopefully hope that people will uh, learn enough from this one to be able to do the same thing in their own operating system. So today I will learn you how to start a whim, how to save a file, uh, and how to write text, and how to quit whim. Also, I will teach you some pro some commands in the terminal that are useful for uh, creating projects and manage where you're at in the file system. So to start this, uh, I will ask you to open the terminal. And one way to do this is to hit Control Space and then type Terminal. And this terminal window is quite um, quite small, so I will hit uh, the command plus to make it bigger, so you can see what I'm doing. I will also uh, hit the um, the full screen button over the to the right. Uh, so when you start a terminal. Uh, in mo many systems, you will end up in your uh, home directory. And as you can see, uh, my computer name is Malus, and then there's the colon, and then there's the tilde. And uh, the way we think uh, says that I'm in my home directory. Where, wherever you are in the file system, you can always type cd to get to your home directory. Um, we will start by creating a directory. Uh, to create a directory, you type mkdrr for make directory, and then after a space, you'll type what it's called. So I will call it hello underscore t. You could have a space, but it makes problems uh, farther uh, in the future because you need to escape all spaces with a backslash and that's kind of hard uh, to do all the time and you don't remember to do it always and then we'll use the cd command again cd hello and I'll just type hell and then type tab and then we'll find our folder and I'll type enter and now it says I'm in the hello t folder which is good. Okay, so how do you use Vim? You use Vim by typing VIM. And for those who don't know, Vim stands for VI Improved, and VI is a really old editor. Now I'll start Vim, and I will give it a file name that we'll try to edit. Uh, so I will type um, read me dot txt, sorry, txt, and I will type enter. What you see now is maybe not exa exactly what you will see, because one of the big benefits of VI is that it's really uh, configurable. You can do a lot of stuff to make it look exactly as you want it. Uh, you would probably not have the line number I have, uh, and you might not have as much color as I have. But it's okay for now. 
you can see down into the left corner what file name the file have and that it's a new file and to the right it says uh, where I am in the file and how much how high percentage of the file you can see and to start typing you must first type I and then it will put you in the insert mode that you can see down to the left so I will write here well come to the hello T time is that one word? No, probably. we will now begin Um, and to be able to do some commands you'll need to hit escape to get out of the insert mode so now you see that the insert down to the left disappeared and you can type colon many of the commands starts with colon not all but many so now when you type colon you can start telling Vim what you want it to do so first I type W because I want them to save the file hit enter and it says written down there and then I type colon again and quit Q for quit so after that I hit enter and I'm back at the console the terminal um, and now I will show you um, a command that is is Macintosh only but it's quite good so you can type open and then the file again uh, and hit enter. And what will happen now is that the operating system will try to open the file with the default program for that file type. So because if it's a text file, it will probably open it in text edit. And I was right. And it says, welcome to Hello Chi Time. We will now begin our journey. And it's misspelled. So let's see. Our journey. Good. I'll save that. Um, and then I will go back and we can open it again with Wim and uh, it's spelled and uh, we'll close it so this was everything I will teach you today what we learned today was how to open the terminal by going to the spotlight and searching for terminal. You also learned how to make a new folder or directory within the terminal by typing make there and typing the name of the folder. You also learned that spaces are sometimes hard to use in the terminal because of that it will separate um, commands to different arguments. So if we would have space in the folder uh, t time, it will say that the first argument was t and the second was time. And now it found that this first argument was t time. The second thing we learned, no, third thing, thing we learned was to uh, go into the directory with the command cd and we also learned how to start with Vim and editing the file. We also learned how to go into insert mode by typing the I button on the keyboard, the I key. And when you're in insert mode, you can type. To go out from insert mode, you can type and uh, escape to get outside and start typing commands. The commands we learned there was W for write, so colon W, and we learned colon quit, colon q for quit. We also learned the command open which is just usable in uh, the Macintosh or the Apple computer which will open what everything you tell them to uh, the best possible way it can figure out uh, using the operating system. And this was how we ended up with this readme txt file opened in text edit. So hope this helped you 
and that it will be a good um, foundation for our later on topics of how to program. So maybe this wasn't too exciting, but it will help you learn how to open a lot of different files. There's a lot of files on the system and uh, things that you usually don't know how to open. And VI tries to open everything. Uh, as long as it's a text format, you will be surprised how many interesting things you can read in files from other programs. But that's all. Hope we'll see, uh, see, see you around. And um, next time, we'll get some programming done. Bye.